Well, hello there, folks. Today, I want to talk about one of the things that is probably the most important, not just in being a writer, but in doing any sort of creative thing. I want to talk about consistency. My name is Seth. I'm a full-time fantasy author. I've written like 22 books and I make these videos because there are a lot of bad books out there and I don't want yours to be one of them. I know I have other videos that where I talk about consistency, but I'm trying to practice what I preach and be consistent in sharing good advice with you. And the truth is that I could talk about consistency in every video and it still probably wouldn't be enough. There is absolutely nothing more important than time spent doing the thing. Whatever it is, whether you are a skateboarder, whether you're a chef, whether you're a writer, time spent practicing your craft is absolutely more important than anything else. Honestly, that by itself could probably be the video, but I wanna talk about a few tactics that I use on a weekly basis to sort of get back on the wagon after I've tumbled off. See, consistency is not only one of the most important things, but it's also one of the hardest things. There are so many disruptions in our life, and there are so many different distractions that are pulling our attention in a million different ways. If you're on social media, which obviously you are if you're watching this, you understand just how hard it is to keep focus. This entire world is literally being designed to pull your attention away from whatever it is that you're trying to do and to give it to somebody else. And as a creative, that's probably one of the most destructive ways you could possibly live. But at the same time, you can't just hold yourself up in a room and completely ignore the world. You still have to make money, you still have to eat, and it's only in the balance between engaging with other people and retreating to practice our craft that we can find success. But I'm here to tell you that it is possible to do that. It is possible to both engage with the world in a constructive way and practice the crap out of your craft. I know because I've been doing it. I've been doing it for a number of years, actually. Not always incredibly successfully, but I've been doing it. Not always with the correct balance, but I have been doing it. I was listening to a book recently, and in it, the author makes a really interesting point. He's talking about how a life of balance isn't actually possible, because balance isn't something that you achieve once and maintain forever. If you've ever walked across a narrow bridge or stood on a balance beam, you understand what I'm saying. Even if you just stand there, your body seems to be making tiny little corrections to make sure that you stay upright. In fact, even just standing on the ground, your body is constantly making these small adjustments to keep you from falling over. And so I think it's very helpful when we talk about this issue, not to talk about it in terms of you know, consistency is this thing that we just sort of achieve and we're there and we never have to make any changes ever again. No, consistency is really this progressive act of getting back into it every single day, of actively balancing all of the distractions that we have with the work that we have to do. So let's get into some of the tactics that I regularly use. The first and probably most important one, and this is the one that has the largest impact on my day, is do the most important thing first. I really have a couple different categories in my life of things that I need to do. First, I need to spend time with my family. Second, I need to write. Third, I need to engage with my fans. Fourth, I have some business stuff that I have to take care of. And what I find is that when I wake up in the morning, if I don't do the most important thing first, it becomes harder and harder to do it as the day progresses. 
And that's because the most important thing also takes the most amount of attention and energy. Now you might say, well, Seth, wait a second, isn't your most important thing spending time with your family? And yeah, sort of, but also sort of not. The way that I support my family is through writing. And if I don't do that, then pretty soon I'm gonna to have to go get a job, which means I'm not going to get to spend any time with my family. So really for me, the most important task that I do is my craft. And if you're looking to become a writer, to write full time, to support yourself or your family, your loved ones with that career, then writing is actually the most important thing for you as well because that's what allows me to spend time with my family. And so the first thing I need to do in the morning, the biggest task I have is writing. Now I've also strategically carved out time throughout my day that I can spend with my family. So I eat breakfast, breakfast with my family. I typically see them at lunchtime. I see them for a sit down dinner every night and I spend a couple hours after work with them. And I try to maintain that schedule without fail because Spending time with my family is super important. But again, I can only do that long term if I continue to write. Now, a lot of times though, I'll find myself interacting with readers or doing my business stuff first thing in the morning because those seem like urgent tasks. Whereas writing is something that I think to myself, man, I could just do that later. But the reality is if I wait on writing, it becomes harder and harder to do as the day progresses because there's always more of the urgent task. There's always more interaction that I can be doing with my readers and there's always more business stuff that I can be doing. And so consistency for me has been about clearing that early part of my day to say the first thing that I'm going to do, the primary thing that I'm going to commit to is my writing. Now, not everybody sets up their day the way I do. I prefer early mornings. Some people prefer late evenings. Some people just operate best midday. So whenever you are going to be at your freshest, I would encourage you to block out that time to write. Whatever else you have to do, push it to the side and write. Now, if you have a job and it takes up a bunch of your time and, so you're, and you're writing on the side, then pick the next best time but really try to commit that specific time to writing. Now, what happens when you do fall off the wagon and you're not spending that time writing? Like for me, for instance, maybe I wake up in the morning and I check Twitter instead of starting my writing right away. When that happens, it's helpful to have an alarm or a trigger that's going to pull you back into the activity you're supposed to be doing. And so I've actually set an alarm that will go off to remind myself, hey, what I'm supposed to be doing in this moment is writing. And so when that goes off, it's just a little sort of mental stumbling block, a tripwire that's going to say, hey, by the way, Seth, you really should be doing something else. I found that incredibly helpful. Now, another thing that I found really helpful is sleep. Get lots of sleep. I know this sounds sort of silly, but the more sleep you get, the clearer your brain is going to work and the easier it's going to be to have willpower for the things you need willpower for. So anyway, this was just on my mind because this week has been an absolute disaster as far as productivity goes, but I'm working at it, I'm doing my best, and I am determined not to let it go to waste. So I've been thinking about that a lot and I thought I'd make a video on it. Anyway, hope you found it helpful. If you have any tips for how you remain consistent, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them.